Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. All right, I got me a, we're going to break away from auto body for a little bit, and we're going to get into some airbrush work. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a wolf scene right here in the center. Okay, but before we can do that, there's going to be a lot of things that we have to do. We're going to have to prep it. And right now I'm going to show you how to get these uh, moldings off here. If you can see, a lot of times moldings will be on there, and they'll have bolts that hold it on this side or that side. This doesn't have that. This has got what they call like a double-sided tape. It's a tape that has glue on each side. So, once again, it's like our adhesion promoter. Okay, it's here. It's going to hold everything together. It's going to pull it together like that. So, what we want to do to get this off, we're going to have to use this heat gun. Okay? Brand new, right out of the box, my heavy homeowner heat gun. Okay, we're going to use that. We're going to warm up the adhesive. It's going to release it. And I'm going to start by prying it off with this. And you should remember this. This is our putty knife. Okay? Some of the tools are the same. I may or may not use. I got two of these. I don't know if I use them or not. If I do, it'll probably be this one. But sometimes what I do with the mud spreader is I'll get it behind there because it's plastic and it won't scratch up the surface. I like to use this a little bit better because if you can see, it's got the beveled end going both ways. It's a little sharper and it's definitely a little stronger, okay? So sometimes I use this. Sometimes I just use the putty knife, depends on how well it releases. But this is pretty nice because this will kind of pry it off once again. I'm not scratching the surface. Okay, so. Anytime I touch any kind of paint, I go ahead and I wipe my hands down. I use Windex. It's got ammonia in it. Ammonia is good. I use it for a final wash. I use it when I prep. I use it to get uh, residue off. Uh, no matter how well you keep your hands clean, you're going to have your hands have oil. And it's going to contaminate it. So anytime you touch it, okay, you'll have contamination. Um, you kind of can't help it but you want to get it as little as you can, okay? So by me washing my hands constantly, I'll get as little as I can, and in between each thing that I do, you're going to see I'm going to spray it down and wash it, okay? So with that being said, now, I'm going to tell you, I don't know, let me get this little table up, I can move this a little better. I personally don't know, you remember we were talking about body plastics, okay? If this is thermo set or thermo, okay? I really don't know. It didn't have any uh, markings on the bottom of it. It's got writing, handwriting, but it doesn't have anything pressed in. So, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be cautious. I don't want to get this thing too hot. You can see I have different adjustments there. I'm going to turn it on. I don't know if you can hear that it's on or not. But I'm just going to warm it up, and I'm going to be very careful not to... Uh, let me see here. I'm going to move something over here because my cord's not real long. While this is warming, I'm going to leave this here. Leave these here. I won't need my screwdriver. Okay. I'll bring this over here. Tools. And if you can see, I'm just going to start. I'm going to constantly move. Okay. I don't want to get this thing too hot, which is pretty good. This is, God, this is really a controlled heat gun. I like it. I can go a lot higher, too. I can go up. And then I can make it hotter. I've got it on a very minimal heat right there. I'm pretty sure, looking at this, that's thermoset. And I'm going to ask you a lot of questions when I get done the video here. And what I want to do, sometimes these bend. I don't want to bend this, so i got to be really careful. I know what I would like to do is take this off. And if you remember uh, some of you second year guys, last year, I know Adrian, you did that real nice chrome. I know Tony, this kind of video is for you. Tony doesn't really know, but we, um, for some of our projects, 
we do fox finishes they'll do wood I have chrome I have lightning and they actually make the letters look like that so uh, last year Adrian he did chrome it looked really good it would really look good on this with the wolf uh, he did like uh, violets and purples uh, this is going to be like a ice and blue it's going to look pretty cool that would look really good doing chrome letters Harley Davidson Ooh, getting hot okay so what I'm going to do kind of move my stuff out I went from one table to the other okay I'm going to put my thing here come back with my spatula or my putty knife actually see how it's loosening it up there So I gotta be really careful because I don't want to buy a new one. We can always use the old one. Look, I'm just going from top to bottom to side. See my new uh, heat gun is burning off the paint. Okay, so there's going to be a couple things I want you to remember. I want you to remember the tools that I used, or at least that I showed you. I'm only using the spatula, it's taking it off pretty good, or the putty knife, excuse me. The heat gun. Remember about thermoset, thermo plastics. And remember what the painters always say cleanliness is next to godliness. Always keep your hands clean and your panel clean. Warm up underneath here too. And believe me, I'm not, I'm not trying to get it real hot. It does that on its own. Okay. Sometimes what's going to happen is a double-sided tape is like a rubber and I'll have to get that off. I have to get it with my fingertips and then maybe a little bit of cleaner.
I'm just coming in from the other way here. I'll be hidden for just a few seconds. Okay, here we have it. We have the emblem still in good shape. You can see how the rubber was back there. And we can buy aftermarket double-sided tape. And I can do that exact same thing. Put that there. Okay, and I want to show you this is what I was talking about. And you can see I didn't scar up the paint too bad. That'll be easily cleaned up. And what I'm going to have to do is use my thumb to get the rubber off okay when I'm done I'll use a little bit of solvent not much just a tad bit of lacquer thinner I'll wipe it down and you'll see okay so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video now and there's gonna be a couple questions at the end of the video just go ahead and answer those I'll give you Four questions. How's that sound?